everyone. We are in a different setting, we're just outside. Yeah, anyway, basically, hi, I hope you guys are well. I'm gonna try and do this quickly because it's literally five and because it's winter, the sun is going to set. So, I'm just gonna do a get to know me tag. Remember tags when YouTube had tags? So I feel like even though I think all of you at this point, like I know you personally, so you guys do know most of these things about me. I just feel like courtesy, like I should introduce myself, keep you guys at least somewhat interested. I'm going to be taking out my braids. So let's just get right into it. And I'm also eating a nachi. Cheers. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Pretoria, South Africa. I was born here. I was born at 7.35 on the 14th of May, 2001. Oh, and I currently still live in Pretoria and I'm going to school in Boston, Massachusetts in America to study theater and performance. Oh, how tall are you? I'm 174, 75 <laughs> meters, centimeters. I'm 5'8". The funniest moment through high school. I actually really don't remember. It's probably my friend falling or something like that. Oh, when one this one teacher broke um, the chair in assembly. It was actually very awkward, but yeah. Favorite drink. Also, I don't know if you guys think I'm an alcoholic from the amount of times that I'm drinking in my videos. I'm not. It's just my parents are very nice and like, they don't make alcohol like once you're old enough a fuss in terms of drinking in front of them. Bless you guys if you're watching this. Yeah, my favorite alcoholic drink is like just a casual gin and tonic. I love cocktails. I'm a cocktail gal. I've been taking on my braids in so long. <laughs> my favorite like normal drink, not to be cliche, but like I really dig water. I won't even lie. But I also like orange juice slaps. Either this drink from um, in Kenya. I don't know if it's from Kenya, but yeah. Bitter lemon or dry lemon Schweppes. I love sour things. If you were to choose between like candies forever only or chocolate forever. Thing is, if it's chocolate bars, then I choose candy. But if it's chocolate anything, then I think chocolate anything. Because I get tired of chocolate bars very easy. Like I can't just finish one chocolate bar, bar like the average person. Yeah, dogs are my favorite animal. But favorite wild animal is um, a white tiger. Oh. Uh, white tiger spirit animal and why um i don't know maybe an elephant i'm sorry i, I don't know if this is boring enough, but you know what quizzy just form it and get over it okay jeez roll on i use nivea like no scent because fun fact i have sensitive armpits One of my all-time favorite movies is Wild Child. One of the movies I recently watched that I love. Jojo Rabbit. I've watched it four times in the past three months. They playing my jam. Okay, I'll stop. Life goals. Ooh, I would love to be an actress. I want to be at the point where people acknowledge my talent so much that directors ask me to be in their movie, not where I audition like where directors are like oh she would be perfect please can you be in my movie i feel like for me that's when i'll be like okay i can retire you know like of course the whole like getting lost in fame I, like when you think about like careers such as acting it's very hard your like goals for your career it's hard to differentiate between like what like if it's actually the fame part of it, you know what I mean? Because I feel like, of course, everyone's like, no, I'm not gonna get lost in the fame, but it's actually like, I feel like it's very easy and you won't even realize it. So I feel like that part, of course, I'm gonna try, like, I think like I'm gonna try keep certain routines and stuff like that so that I can stay like humbled and keep my focus on why I chose to do acting because I really do, like, I just feel like, it's those things, very cheesy, but I think to me, it just, acting just makes sense. And it's just, is me. <laughs> I don't even know how to explain it, but this is an interview. And I, I want to be known for my talents and my values and morals. You know what I mean? I want to change. 
I want to change the world. <laughs> but I just want to make like a big impact with what I do with acting. And it's not even like means that I have to act in political dramas or I have to act in historical movies. You know what I mean? But it's just kind of like I want people to look at the film industry differently. I want people to look at acting differently. I want, to, want people to like just see people and just see the stories that I'm telling through acting. I want them to see the stories the way that I'm trying to show them and just want them to see it from a different perspective or different approach. You know what I mean? Like I want to just connect humanity and make people just understand each other more and be more considerate and sympathetic. You know what I mean? Oh, I sound so cheesy. Shoot me in the neck and call me Pam. Don't shoot me, please. I'm not Pam. Don't shoot Pam either, please. So let's move on, shall we? Um, what sports do you play or have you played? Oh, darling, let me sit you down for this one. <laughs> sports! Sports! <laughs> we dabble. And mom and dad, if you're watching this, I'm sorry that I've quit so many of these. So I start off when I was young. When I was young. I'll do a timeline. So I did karate. And I was actually really good at karate. I was in the... <laughs> I represented South Africa, by the way. <laughs> I even have a bag, but I don't know where it is. And it has my name. My karate kit has my name and has South Africa. So basically, karate championships. Long story short, I knew I was stronger than a lot of the girls at the karate tournament. I was in the final, like my final match. And it was like literally the make or break of like me being first or second. Basically, in karate, you're not supposed to touch people, or at least touch them in a harmful way. Like you're supposed to make it look like that at least, or just show a move that shows you have skill. And then basically I knew if I blocked this girl a certain way, I was gonna hurt her. So I didn't, and then she punched me, like the karate way, and she won. So I was sour, cried. I'm still sour as you can see. So karate, I'm actually not gonna dabble anymore because I actually can't do that. And then basically I quit karate for ballet. Cause I was a very violent child. I like beat my siblings with like tennis rackets. I threw a chair at my sister. I strangled people. So then we tried to get that out of me in karate. And then I became soft. Not that ballet, you have to be soft or whatever, but it's just kind of like, you don't really find people punching in ballet. Then I quit ballet, which is that. <laughs> so that's that. I think tennis was my first sport, like back in kindergarten or the one before kindergarten pre-K or whatever when i was like three and four then i went back to tennis and like random grades i started netball netball is my love my actual love but because I, I moved to an american school they didn't have net netball netball it sounds like nipple i know i've done squash swimming Ooh, i did swimming since from when i was six until i was 13 because by the time i got to high school they stopped swimming because no one would do it. <laughs> oh yeah, also, I played basketball. Yeah, volleyball. Oh, I did tumbling. <laughs> so I've played soccer slash football. I don't know, whatever you call it. I don't know if I mentioned rugby. Love it. I did softball. Oh, I did like jazz and like contemporary dancing, like freestyle dancing. Have any books you read changed your life? But the subtle art of not giving a F word. Can't swear. Sorry. Well, I don't swear. Sorry, mom and dad. Anyway, the feedback loop from home, you're sad, okay? You're very sad. And then now you start spiraling and then you start getting sad about the fact that you're feeling sad. And then you start getting sad about the fact that you're feeling sad about feeling sad. And then you're just getting sad about the fact that you're sad about feeling sad about feeling sad. You know what I mean? It's just like a... The endless, it's just, it's a loop from hell, you know what I mean? Like you're feeling that one bad emotion and that's just how you keep spiraling. Yeah, I don't even know if this helps, but I think the fact that you realize that you're doing the feedback loop from hell is, I think to, to me that just helps because I realize what I'm doing and then I'm kind of like, okay, crazy, stop spiraling and like just breathe and just think about like the beginning emotion and like, you know what I mean? It just helps me get to the bottom of my feelings. Thanks for being. I'm sorry I'm eating and chewing, talking and chewing, it's very unladylike. Speak any languages and how well? I speak English very horribly actually, 
as you guys could tell. Any other language? No. Anyone that has parents that don't speak one language, so you know how they have like their command terms, like stop it, go to your room, you're being naughty. Like I know those of like Kikuyu and like Siswati because I'm from Swaziland and Kenya. Single or taken? It's for me to know and you to find out. I'm kidding. Single. As a mother truck and Pringle. Move on, shall we? Dream date idea. Ooh, I love a good fun fair. I feel like there's a lot to do and then it brings up conversation. And I also just love activities. Um, your um I know everyone hates it, but I feel like I I would like a movie date, but I guess it's just because I love movies and movies are like my laugh. How long was your longest relationship? A month. How would you describe your fashion sense? Ooh, this is a good question. I don't know. Let me show you. This is my outfit. It's my sister's polyneck. This display. This display. This display. This display. That's my grandma got me that. And then these are just low visa. Yeah, this is my dad's. That's that. And then these are just jeans that were my dad's that I altered. Um, fashion says, I don't know, it is very confused. Sometimes I'll just dress like in a cotton on advert. Other days I'll dress like this. So people would say I just dress like a boy. My friends say I dress like a nurse sometimes. You guys, you guys know who you are. Thank you for that. Yeah, actually, I don't know, I would just say confused, but I also just know what I like. How many siblings? Oh, I have two siblings. My sister is two years and two days older than me. And my brother is five years and like a few months. Um, what is your go-to fast food? Oh, go-to fast food. First of all, McDonald's is my favorite. Favorite. If I'm feeling really hungry or if I'm like on a night out, you know what I mean? And you really want to chow chow. Okay, I have three different orders. I either do a Big Mac medium or large meal with a... Fanta, orange or orange juice, or I do a 10 piece chicken nugget with large fries, jalapeno sauce, and a Fanta or orange juice, or the Mac chicken one. Your most memorable vacation memory. Quick story time. Don't like the sea because I don't like fish. I would love to love the sea and the beach, but it's just not my vibe. I'm a pool type of gal. So basically, we were going snorkeling, and then they had like those pool boys. And <laughs> they're like, okay, guys, come out. And then as I was getting out, the guy throws like bread or just throws things basically so that the fish start coming to that area. And I jump onto the pool boy because now I'm scared and he did not notify me at all that this is what was going to be occurring and then like my parents and my brother enjoying themselves my sister also doesn't like fish they're all enjoying themselves the instructor and tour guide he's enjoying himself and i'm like no actually get me out of the water because i was actually peeing my pants so now i'm on my way to the boat to start climbing up because there's like a ladder on the side and i look with my goggles and i'm like what's that and i literally see like a black or like a it was like a dark green brownish like eel an electric eel elect electric eel literally violently swimming at my sister and i and my sister's just taking so long on that ladder i'm like well i can go up well, i can go up. and then literally i saw homeboys actually it was actually i saw my life i did I did. Any bad habits? I feel like my posture is one. <laughs> when I was younger, I used to have this very bad habit. Um, that, so I just have a weird nose. Like, it's sensitive. I have sinus issues here and there. So when I was younger, I used to, like, scratch my nose like this. Like, just... And then I literally had a line. I formed a line. I formed a line here. Tell us one thing about you that we wouldn't know. I'm black. No. <laughs> Oh, I'm double jointed in my shoulders. Something you guys wouldn't know about me is that I featured in my sister's album. <laughs> I was in the song called Black Sheep. Okay, my favorite Netflix show. Ooh, that's hard. Um, maybe Sex Education. Atypical, Stranger Things. 
<laughs> Describe my first crush. I don't remember him actually. Um, I had a boyfriend. His name was Jason. Apparently, I don't remember this. My sister told me this. Funny story. We didn't break up. I just left the school. So Jason, if you're watching this and if you remember me, DM me. Let's get married. I don't know something. <laughs> no. Nah, I'm not really kidding. Oh, your favorite film genre, let me tell you. Rom coms. Rom com. No, guys, rom coms hit differently. You know, like a classic Katherine Heigl, Josh Duhamel, a classic Rachel McAdams, Nicholas. Sp oh, guys, Nicholas Sparks. Those aren't rom coms, but romantic movies like Nicholas Sparks movies hit different. My favorite is The Last Song. Coffee order, shout out to Sarah um, for the iced white chocolate mocha, grande. With, mm, if I'm feeling like I don't want to suffer because I am lactose intolerant, very rarely I would order milk that won't make my stomach want to cry. Or I just order a casual caramel frappuccino with extra caramel. Or I would order a caramel iced caramel macchiato with extra caramel. Have you ever failed at anything and what did you learn? <laughs> Honey, don't let your lack of achievements define you. One of my life monsters is genuinely everything happens for a reason. And it's kind of like just let your life fall into place. Because if what's meant for you shall come. You know what I mean? Like if it wasn't meant for you, then let it be. And yes, it's very frustrating because it's just like why? And like why me? Why couldn't I have been the one? You can ask questions your whole life but at the end of the day you have to move on and it's just not for you and just use that in the way that you're supposed to use it that the universe or god or your creator the, i mean the creator or like your god has like done for you you know what i mean okay my favorite color is lime or viridian green <laughs> but also my like other favorite colors are i just like a good old purple and gray you know, I really like grey, like a lot of, a lot, a lot, a lot. Have you been to any concerts or festivals? <laughs> Funny story, I watched Barney, Barney, I watched him live at Goldie City. He asked me to go on stage with him. What did Quezzy do? She cried and ran to the back of the stands. So that's me playing myself. So yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope some of you know me. A bit more um for you people that uh like haven't had braids before and don't know the whole deal this is what happens when you're taking them out <laughs> but here's my actual hair and then this is the hair piece like the extensions but anyway thank you guys for all your support so far like it really really means a lot but again um if you have my like contacts please tell me how you think i can improve it be brutally honest don't like hurt my feelings, but like be frank. You know what I mean? Please like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, I hope you guys are staying safe, staying distant as much as you can. Hang in there. If you guys also just want to talk, please like text me. I'll put my Insta down below. Just DM me, honestly. And then we can chat. We can be mates. I, I, I would love a new mate, you know? Always a fun time. Yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this. <laughs> Bye!